Take one. Now a second down and eight to start our fourth quarter. They trail it by three touchdowns. And he's going long once. Edwards got it. And it's a first down for the Wolverines. Two fouls on the play. Pass interference defense. That penalty is declined. Michigan takes the result of the play. First down. Following the play. Dead ball. Late hit. Number nine on the defense. Half the distance to the goal. Automatic. First down. Three wides to Henny's right. Intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Ubote. Ubote to the 20 yard line. As Chad Henney makes a freshman mistake. On the return, we have an illegal block below the waist. Number 42. Half the distance. And the Buckeyes and Troy Smith will try to eat up some time. A three touchdown advantage right now. And they'll come with the big backs that Pittman, the freshman, in at running back. Swings over to the left. Here, Woods helped break up the play over there. He picks up Woodley this time, but Woodley gets past him at the end as Smith stepped up in the pocket. Iowa and the Badgers, if the Buckeyes win this game, the Badgers will be playing for a spot in the Rose Bowl if they can win. Here is Preston making the fair catch against Michigan. And the Wolverines eyeing a spot of the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. And now Henny and the Wolverines in deep trouble. Ecker. The game, I think we can hold up against these guys, but I'm not sure. And so far, they indeed have held up. Henny, incomplete. And there's the penalty flag. Space, and Schlegel isn't as comfortable. Here's Hart. And he's down at the 49. State controls their own destiny. Deep Missouri, and they'll face Oklahoma. Yeah. All right, Avant to the right. Deep drop by Henney. Has time. Has a man open. It's Braylon Edwards. Got him in the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. What a throw. Wow. So Chad Henney quiets the crowd as he and Braylon Edwards downs and today he comes back with 10 more Revis and just like that it is a two touchdown game as Braylon stays right with it little adjustment on the site over to the left in the basket I'm out campaign rule number two just because it's politics doesn't mean it can't be fun downs now with 11 minutes Neenberg to kick it off for the Wolverines would be fielded and bobbled right there at the one yard line by Hall who picks it back up and he is brought down at the 15. The year that's a new NCAA record. They beat these Buckeyes in overtime that was their first one. Can't believe they're in the I formation right now I don't think they can move the ball in the I formation and they jump offside so they don't you're right Start. except for remember the offense five yard penalty still third down. Pittman is the running back. Troy Smith taking off. Big game. Quarterback draw. Woods in a foot race. Coming from behind, number 99. Booms it. Drives Bruston way back. Bounces at the 21 on the first hop. Can't slip the first gunner. Needing two touchdowns here in the final 7.51. Fires high and hot defending, incomplete. Any In incomplete. Really. Any straight back. He's got Nasa Coy, but he might be a little bit short of it. He is. They move to an odd front against it. And he's going to throw. Braylon Edwards dropped it. Buckeye football inside the 30-yard line. Penalty flag. Take three.
three. Comes flying, and it was Ted Ginn Jr. who broke the huddle late. We didn't get into the play yet. Illegal substitution. 12 men in the huddle, too long. Five yard penalty. Still first down. And an outstanding job of officiating by this crew here today. The handoff is Brandon Joe pounds in, and Woodley, the Saginaw linebacker, too tight in formation for Trestle. A clock eating formation. Pittman to the 30 yard line. And now it appears as though they might have to await the outcome of the Wisconsin game. It'll be Smith in the pocket, incomplete. 48 yards for him. Holds 18 records. It'll be put down at the 38 yard line. It's good. Beautiful. Buckeyes are weaving an upset here against Michigan. What a luxury. Campaign rule number four. Practice what you preach. With 7.15 to go. And it'll come out of the 20-yard line. First down and 10 from the 20-yard line. And Henny with his wide receiving weapons out. Facing Hawk trying to get there. He's picked up incomplete. We have dead ball offsetting personal fouls. 67 on the offense. 94 on the defense. Oh, Those penalties damn. offset. Clock 7-11. Complete using the tight end, and Henny and the Wolverines are only three of 11 on third downs today. And now make it four of 12. And downs, excuse me, no timeouts left for Michigan. Michigan linemen getting their spacing, throwing complete to Preston. And he coming down towards six minutes. And he rifles one complete. That's a first down across midfield. So And he going high and deep to Braylon Edwards. Edwards in the air. Jump ball incomplete. And he fires and hits a crossing Jermaine Gonzalez that time. On third down, Hart steps over, slashes. Got it to the 35. They move the chains. Preston's a slot man. And he... Braylon couldn't get up quite high enough on that one. Did it? Screen dropped by Hart. Third down coming up. Maybe. And that is well short of the first down. Here's your fourth down. Wolverines have to stick it inside the 25. And he in trouble. Incomplete. Ohio State football. 52 yards. Checks in. Gets the call. Goes into the middle. They cannot anything but a turnover right now. Ohio State thinks they win this football. There it is. Turnover. Excuse me. A penalty on that situation. You can't flinch. Well start. 88 offense. Five oh, penalty. Damn. Still second down. The wind up with a Perhaps in Orlando uh, or Tampa. Michigan will certainly uh, wind up in Florida. Third down. And again, the uh, height. The punt will go out of bounds with 124. Trestle and his coaching staff have done a superb job of improving this football team as the season progressed. And he caught by Massacoy, and of course, it's incomplete. Mike Hart, of course, the running back. He'll be joined by Grady, supposed to be an outstanding recruit coming in. The pass is complete to Ecker, and the Buckeyes keep him inbounds. And uh, so the students will be uh, 
sliding off and the celebration is about to begin here in uh, in Columbus. So he has certainly become the Buckeyes Defense, quarterback of the future nine, ahead of Justin Zwick. Penalty. Previous spot. Automatic. First down. The Buckeyes, where will they go for a bowl? Well, perhaps San Antonio. And the um, Alamo Bowl. The, uh, now they shake away some of the doom and gloom here with a with a big upset over arch rival Michigan. They deny Michigan an automatic trip to the Rose Bowl and they pound away with those linebackers. You can't say enough about Bobby Carpenter. Final 35 seconds. Third down and 10 for Henny and the Wolverines. Far side, deep ball, incomplete, and it is fourth down. They have come and been ready to play. Here's Henny. Intercepted. Picked off by Nate Sally. Hey, as Nate Sally comes up with that interception and the well, flags come flying. Gary. Yeah, they got 12 men on the field. Institution. 12 men on the field offense. Five yard penalty. First stop. And that's what happened. There's your victory formation. And the celebration can begin. <laughs> The Michigan Wolverines, 37-21. The scene from above here as you look down on it. A beloved football team. There is Ted Ginn Jr. with that spectacular punt return for a touchdown. I actually believe I saw Ted Ginn Sr. down there hugging Troy Smith down on the field.